What's going on, guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer. Um, no plan for today, but I will start with characters I find interesting. You know what? Let's start with Frost. Frost is an interesting start. I don't normally do it, um, and I probably should do it more. And with him, we can bring the Thief. Another character I don't start with enough. Two characters that I usually don't start with, and it's not even like because I don't like them. I like both of these characters. In fact, I am overdue for a thief run. I might commit to the thief depending on what we find on this run. Because, like, if I find something really cool, then obviously, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an open mind about pivoting. But at the same time, a uh, thief sounds pretty cool to me. But yeah, I uh, just got done streaming. Pretty tired. Um, but it is Tuesday, and I got two days off after this. Love my Tuesdays. Basically, for me, Tuesdays is like the weekend for you guys or normal people with normal, you know, money-making schemes. <laughs> or, I don't know, that makes it sound nefarious. I, I didn't want to say job because, <laughs> I don't know, I don't... Content creation does have its, you know, things that are annoying, I guess, but it's certainly easier than working at Walmart, which is what I did before this. And it's almost certainly easier than whatever you do in your, uh, in your life to exist, so... That's why I don't like using the word job. Either way, um, I am tired, so. Point being, I don't know why I'm such a rambly motherfucker, but I am. Maybe but maybe it's a good thing. Maybe being a rambly is good for what I do. I don't know. Either way, it's skull time, guys. Skull time, skull time. What do we got here? Branches of Destruction. I'll grab it. Um, it's really, really bad at the start of runs, and by the end of your runs, it's almost always really good. But for the time you hold on to it at the start of your runs, this thing is terrible. Basically, the way this works is um, to make the Branches of Destruction proc, you need to deal uh, 10,000 damage. Which sounds insane, right? Like, you're like, how could that ever be good? Most runs, by the end of them, deal 10,000 damage very easily. And then this becomes, like, basically an ability spam item. It deals a lot of damage. It's especially good on certain characters like Bomber, who deal, like, constant large amounts of damage. Um, but it's pretty much good on everyone. Also, thank you, Spokesman. Even though max HP isn't interesting, it is good. No, it's not flashy or nothing, but... You ain't unhappy to see it. Alright, shop time. I wasn't counting the doors. It does look like a low roll to me, based on the money. But maybe not. Maybe we're gonna get, maybe it's fine. Maybe everything's chill. Now that's also interesting. That sets me down a very different kind of path. Um, poison is, is a build I haven't done in a while, actually. I have a lot to say about the consistency of poison. I think it's an extremely easy and consistent um, status to build around. In the past, also excuse me, um, my voice is a little fucked up. Um, in the past, there was a lot of hate for this inscription. I remember it was really hard to convince people that poison was good back in the day. Um, but I think people have come around on it. Back in the day, like the perspective of the community was like poison bad, bleed good, which is something I never got ever. Because like bleed is so inconsistent. Whereas like you can literally close your eyes and just like mindlessly fucking take things and you'll end up with a decent poison build which is an exaggeration but um yeah i'm gonna ditch the the frost skull here and take the genie not necessarily committing to the genie but um also probably should invest these bone shards since beef is i can he's definitely a magic skull although for the record you can build magic skull um poison runs it's just not good. Like, it's obviously stupid. It's the kind of thing I do to prove to people the consistency of poison. And I've done it before. I built, like, a poison, um, poison Thor, I think it was. And it was a good run. But obviously, you want a physical skull when you're building poison. The statuses aren't really as flexible for mixed damage as other build archetypes are. Obviously, with the exception of stun. Which, no, 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 even stun you want to do, um, mono-type damage. Especially if you have, like, a Thief Armor. Or not Thief Armor, um, Armor of Fear. Because Armor of Fear is, like, the more damage you do of the higher of the two attack types. So, 
Um, you want to have as much damage in your invested stat for uh, armor if you're as possible. And mixed damage, sure, you can get really high stats, but you can get a lot more stats by going monotype. Alright, what do we got here? This is fine, I'll take it. <clears throat> I don't normally pick up Mysterious Apparatus, but it's fine. It's probably not going to, uh, not going to stay on this build, but I'm definitely in the mood for a Poison build. So I wouldn't mind... Uh, I'll take that, though. I wouldn't mind um, doing it from here. Int? Sure, actually. Why not? That means we lost four Bone Shards on that uh, Thief. But that's fine, I guess. It's... Um, not too bad, I guess, you know? It is what it is. It's not too much of a loss. A lot of people often, or not often, I guess, but sometimes I'll see the comment that, um, upgrading a uh, rare to, or a common to rare is free. Um, it's something I said in the past, but it's not true. Um, you have to consider the opportunity cost of not seeing a common and instantly breaking it. And it ends up adding to four bone shards uh, being lost. Which is not like the end of the world, but it's still a loss, so. I don't know if I'm committing to these guys either, for the record. Um, I'm, I think I'm more likely to commit to the Int than I am to the Genie, because I'm not too far removed from a Genie run. But, at the same time, I do find, um, I'm gonna grab this, actually. I do find, uh, um, Genie runs to be very fun. <laughs> I, I'm a fan of Genie. Very outspoken enjoyer. Uh, the reason I took that um, uh, bleed terrible blade shards is just in case I find um, hate stone, and then I'm one item slot closer to awakening it to uh, authentic hate stone, which I would love to have on a poison run. All right. Let's see how this Yigi goes. I think we're going to pretty easily destroy him. He is, uh, you know, we got like damage amp. We have pretty decent damage percent as well, I think. Probably around like 300, I would imagine. Oh no, because we have the Indomitable Will. 260. Oh, <laughs> I was way overestimating it. Okay. Still fine though. We're, he, he's going to get fucked. This is the most dead Yiggy you ever done saw in your entire life. A foolish Yiggy Dursel who thinks he can step up to me. He can't. Pro tip. He just can't. We also have this, um... If it somehow gets enough, we have this, um... This, uh, branches of destruction in the fucking wind in the shadows waiting to fucking activate. It probably won't proc during this fight, but who knows. It's also probably not staying on this build, if I had to take a wild guess. If I do lean into poison, there's no reason to have it. Like, um... There's not a ton of reason to have item damage on poison runs. Except if you have Fatal Sword. Oh, look, it's ready to proc. I actually shocked it proc during this. See how much damage that did? This is why I'm a fucking Branch of Destruction fan. And obviously that's just at the start of the run. It's basic flat damage is enormous. And it does even more to enemies under half health. Uh, wow. Yikes is all I have to say about this. The best thing here is this. Um, at this stage this can go. All right, let's see what we get. I'm definitely taking Weakness Exposure. I could take Glass Body instead of Collection Desire. Take Collection Desire at the start of Act 3. Weakness Exposure, Glass Body. Sure. I've had Glass Body a lot lately. It keeps showing up. Good curse. So I ain't complaining. All right, we're not going to commit to this Ant. Oh, for the record, I should explain, um, since there are a lot of new people in this community who are new to Skull in general, the reason you take um, weakness exposure on poison runs is because um, 
weakness exposure uh, activates with every single damage tick that you deal. And poison is like a damage over time, extremely fast tick rate kind of uh, thing. And uh, it applies a ton of damage with um, um, with weakness exposure. It basically just like further multiplies your multipliers. It's very powerful. And you pretty much, and not even pretty much, you always, if you're playing poison, you always take weakness exposure. One item we're gonna be looking at for when we get into the shop is consistent poison application. There's a number of items that get us there. Wow. Um, do I want this? Probably not, honestly. Oh, there it is. Consistent poison application. We got it with uh, with this item, which is one of the many items that allows you to consistently apply it. There's a good few of them. Um, let's get rid of the mysterious apparatus. Now I want poison or just damage scaling because one very important aspect of uh, of poison runs is you want extremely dense damage scaling. I'm also going to ditch the branches now. Be even though I don't want to, it just makes sense because we need treasure four, I feel like, because I believe we are low rolling our doors. And I'd like to have, uh, you know, a way to consistently scale my damage or, or uh, a way to make shops consistently powerful is what I meant to say. Forgive me, I am tired. Like I said. And that's the other benefit of, um, um, root or, uh, decaying heart or decayed heart, right? Yeah. Is, um, it makes poison enemies in rooms explode. Which normally isn't that cra- Oh, there- Oh, we got two consistent items. I might be able to ditch this at some point then. For now, I'll take both. Um, or maybe I won't. Maybe I will ditch it. What's my crit? It's flat. But we can fix that. I'm gonna get rid of Decayed Heart. No, 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 let's get rid of this. Hold on to both of these for now. But like, um... This is the poison application item, basically. It doesn't get much better, if at all better, honestly. It's it's very good. Man, I might commit to this, uh, Genie. My problem with it, though, is what I said earlier, is like, we did do a genie run recently, although I did just upload like two Reaper videos very close together. But people like Reaper. I don't know how many people out there like the genie. Not as many as it deserves to be. But at least genie isn't hated these days anymore. Back in the day, genie could never catch a fucking break from the community. The only thing I complain about genie these days is his goddamn sprites are like so old. He needs updates. See how often weakness exposure is proccing, though? It's very, very, very good on poison runs. It's really good in general across the board, but especially on uh, poison runs. I used to take it on almost every run to the point where people got upset, <laughs> which is fair. Um, normally I'd be all about it, because obviously Invisible Knife is great, but we're strictly uh, focusing on our physical damage. We don't have enough item slots to make Invisible Knife worth taking. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and commit to this genie. <laughs> He's going to be good for Leona sisters. I like these skills as well. Could be a shorthand take, actually. It's really good on poison. Like I said, um, poison's all about damage scaling, like, which is most skull runs. Honestly, you need good damage on most of your skull runs. But um, poison scales strictly off your physical damage, and of course, uh, weakness exposure and stuff like that. But like, we're just talking normal run building. Um, it's very, very powerful on any kind of damage scaling. 
Oh, okay. Ninja it is. Ninja's wonderful for this. In fact, Ninja Poison used to be like the go-to. Like, Ninja hasn't always had a good reputation with the community at large. Including myself. I used to think Ninja was terrible. Now he's my favorite skull in the entire game. But, um... He hasn't always had a high standing. Um, before I, people, including myself... I'm including myself in this, so, yo. It's not just, like, shade at the community. Uh, before people realized that Ninja was good, um, one of the ways people would say to make him good is with poison. So, throwback fucking run, I suppose. But also, you do not have to convince me hard to uh, take this fucking character. I love him so much. Just the way he moves is so fun. We even got the skill I really, really like on him. Normally, the best way to build Ninja is um, ability spam items. But he's also quite good with uh, poison. Though most skulls are. It's very a uh, universal status. That's how I always describe it to people. Is um, With poison, you can really t build it on literally anyone. Yaksha, huh? Could be. Um, I'm actually going to pass. Because I want those bone shards. Uh, we're not building for Fulgent here, I don't think. Okay, 100% take this. And something here has to go. Um, Indomitable Will. Now we have treasure for. Perfectly uh, acceptable. Oh, and there's my masterpiece. Which means I can maybe pick back up with the Indomitable Will, actually. Hello? One, two, three, four. Oh. Pfft. Um, that kind of sucks, I guess. What the hell goes then? This. Right? Ugh. I guess this can go. Um, and I will buy, uh, Misfortune. Because we have good poison application. Now we're just looking for Stone of Plague. And so we can start ditching some of these Masterpiece signs we don't want. But like we can afford to hold on to these for now. And they won't be harming me too much. But if we start getting into like Act 4 and shit. And we have some of these items. It's going to be very annoying. These Bone Shards will also be very nice. What do you have sir? Uh money. At least that. Alright. What do we have here? Just a little platform cheese. No big deal or anything. Just a little bit of platform cheese. Never hurt anyone. Stone of Plague. That was Giga Copium, but you never know, man. After yesterday's run and how lucky that shit was. Oh, God, I hate this fucking thing. Ah! It's maybe my least favorite enemy in all of Skull of Hero Slayer, though there are other contenders for being equally as annoying as that one is. That enemy is gat dang annoying, though. I'm definitely upgrading my ninja first, by the way. Unique, or legendary genie is good and all. But he's kind of doing what I want him to do at unique, whereas ninja unique is, like, pretty bad. He's not, like, terrible or anything, but, like, he's certainly a lot worse than he is at legendary. Like, not in day difference between unique and legendary ninja. A little lag. Though that's not shocking in fucking post uh, Myths and Legends Skull the Hero Slayer. It's been a laggy mess ever since they released that. I'd like to ride the Merry Go Round here, but I'm also not sweating it too hard if I accidentally kill her. We're gonna stop there, but there is a chance she dies here.
Okay, it's the long hair sister. Um, it's gonna be hard to keep her alive here. I will try. No promises. <laughs> but if we could um, uh, begin phase two with her, with um, her alive with that much HP, it's gonna be a fucking breeze. Like, so easy. Be careful about dashing here. If the uh, long hair sister comes back, I'm just gonna kill her. I don't got that fucking patience. All right, we rode the merry-go-round successfully. I say before we're done, but like, we did. Unless I die here, which is unlikely. We're just gonna kill her. Yeah, all right. So we're, she's gonna spawn in with less than half HP. God, I, whenever I can get out of this fight as quickly as possible, it just makes me so happy. I really do just despise this fight. Exactly for this reason. <laughs> that and the um, fucking ult. Alright, lovely. Thank you for making that as easy as possible, ladies. We're past Leon sisters. It's only good vibes from here, right guys? Right? Good vibes only. Oh, 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 inner malice too, but we're definitely taking the all of tree cudgel. Like, get real. Get absolutely fucking real. All right, easy come, easy go with treasure four. Now we take last resistance and we die on purpose. Which is a lot easier to remember when I'm not streaming, even though I'm going to say that and miss it anyway. Very likely the last um, dark ability we take is going to be um, um, shorthand. Unless I see like a really good curse. We'll have to see. Frankly, I could just die on purpose like here and probably still be okay. I might just do that so I remember. Because you know what? The, the forgetting tendons or the forgetting uh, stuff is not great. Let's actually do that. I'll be completely fine if I die here. We're going to revive with so much HP. We have glass body, which is making this a lot harder. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. We should be okay. Um, I can play a little more carefully than normal to make certain that I'm okay. But now we have every feat of this awoken. And that's very powerful on Ninja. Remember when I said ability spam items? Just gonna wait for him to finish his little baby ass tantrum. Almost fucked up there, by the way. I forgot that um, he would kill those guys. I would have taken a lot of damage there. Probably not enough to kill me, but close. Now we don't have to see her anymore, though we already have seen... Or no, no, no. Yeah, I haven't seen the slime yet. I'm thinking of my last run on Twitch. Terrible chest, though. Sword isn't the worst, I guess. Shebang, baby! And destroying these fools. Drop me an evil sword or something. Give me a fucking evil sword now. Why do I, I don't even know why I want an evil sword. Actually, an evil sword wouldn't even be that good here. <laughs> I take it back. I don't want an evil sword. Don't listen to me, game. I'm on crack. Uh, this is good. Though I really should be hyper fixating on masterpiece. Oh my god, you tempted me with a good time. Oh, there it is. Okay, never punished. Okay, so why did I do all that? Why for uh, Stone of Plague, of course. You silly goose. You're a little silly billy. Um, we didn't get it here, though. Gotcha Gaming. Ooh, okay. Gotcha Gaming paying off. Making the fucking cheddar with that shit. Remember, kids, gambling is always good. The house never uh, cheats. 
They're honest men. I'm getting my fucking treasure chest, bro. I ain't accidentally going out the door with this one. Wait, why did I upgrade my genie? <laughs> I bet people are going to be commenting on that. <laughs> I don't know why I did. I was literally like right before I was like, I'm upgrading my fucking ninja first. And I accidentally upgraded the genie. Like genuinely, it, it wasn't on purpose. Like I was wondering why I wasn't using my ninja in air attacks. Turns out, um, I didn't have them. Yep. I'm very intelligent. Thanks for the bone shards, man. Reaper, you are a little clingy these days. I'm not going to lie. Not that I don't like you. I do. But, like, I've taken you, like, twice this week. It's kind of crazy. Just a pile of damage in the corner. It's hard to even tell what the fuck is happening. Excuse me. I have really bad allergies right now. It's like especially bad. Thanks for all the heals. We don't care about that. Literally, we only have masterpiece now to awaken a uh, uh, authentic stone of plague. And if we don't see authentic stone of plague soon, I'll start pivoting away from some of this masterpiece. There's our boy, our big beautiful boy. Now we have this, which if you were wondering, that's my favorite move on Ninja. Though really they're all good. God, Ninja's so sick. I love this character so much, man. Owie! God, that hurt actually. Jesus, what a fucking asshole. Ah! Just give me all the bone shards in the world. They all died at once. Wow. Thought there was a treasure chest down there. Turns out it's over here. I'm just blind. All right. Uh, authentic stone of plague, please. Please, please. Oh, that's a fatal sword. But fatal sword's probably not that good here. Purple flirt, can't help it. Gotta have it. All right. Um, if I don't see it soon, I'll start pivoting away. Probably the next shop will be like when I decide if I'm keeping it or not. We also don't have poisoning for yet. Um. Need to keep that in mind as well. Like if I see um, Chimera's, what the fuck is that? Fuck me. The the stone she drops, the one that scales your damage. I'm probably gonna take that. I won't be taking a Chimera thing though. I do not respect it. Just give me the Stone of Plague, and we can all go home happy. There's a missile coming, I think. Yep. You think I don't know? I fucking know, dude. You can't trick me. You can try. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Catch me lacking. Ain't happening today, though. None of that's good. Oh, you offered me a skull room. I gotta take it. Ah, uh, what? What? <laughs> what? Huh? Okay. <laughs> I mean, he got my ass. I don't know what the fuck the game was doing, but... I ain't gonna complain. I'm just confused. It's like... I literally stunned him earlier on stream and um, escaped it. And then he like flew over and just got me anyway. But that time he was like, ah, give up. You escaped, brother. Good job.
Good for you. That just was slower than it's falling. All right. Bring it on. We should be killing her fairly quickly here. Not the highest damage percent, but it should be enough. We also got that amp on deck, thanks to our all of Chicago. Beautiful textbook. You love to see it. You really do. Um, there's the... Oh, there it is. Contaminated Core. I literally, like, remembered as soon as I saw it. <laughs> um, yeah, this is definitely worth taking. We'll get rid of the gold percent gain. Which sucks, but it has to go eventually pretty much every run. Unless you're playing Treasure 4. Or if you're playing the mod and you're uh, using, um... What's it called? Uh, Root of All Evil. Anyways, uh, shorthand for sure. Or I can hold out and hold... Eh, I'm taking shorthand. Shorthand's so obscenely good with Genie and um, Genie Swordsmanship. Just making sure I was correct on that skill name. It's so good. Now our other pedestal that's treasure right now can go towards uh, Poisoning 4. And if we don't see Authentic Stone of Plague in the next shop, we can start pivoting off of our... Master Breeding Designs we don't want. Like, we don't want this. We don't want this. These two are fine. I'd like to get rid of this. I'm definitely keeping this. Like, that's such dense damage scaling on Ninja in particular. Who has access to so many abilities, he can just activate it on his own. You asshole. It's also quite good on um, Ninja's Swap, the um, um, short hands. Now, hopefully this isn't the room before the shop, because we do not have a lot of money right now. It might well be. Yo, it is the room before the shop. God damn it. High probabilities of starting to pivot here. I'm not going to buy the uh, the purple flirt. Um, Bone of Courage is good here. This is where we start pivoting, for sure. Alright, it is what it is. Um, Courage 4 is nice. We'll buy... Um, poisoning on the pedestal it is what it is we tried if i see a, th a stone of plague there's still a chance i take it regardless because it is a good item even without um being ascended into masterpiece there's forgot what it looked like for a moment <laughs> i was just blindly scrolling Lovely. All right, man. I'm liking this run a lot. Pretty standard poison affair, but like, what's wrong with that? Nothing. It's just a shame the poison curse is so bad. Like, it'd be cool if poison had a good curse that's worth using, so you could get like extra excited if you see it, and you're like, dude, I'm on a poison run. It's the poison curse, but like, it really is just garbage. Still don't think I want this. Wouldn't mind having something like this for damage scaling. So I... But that is a little tough, I guess. Because I did... I do want to keep Courage 4. I can always get rid of Misfortune, but that doesn't... That's not smart. 
Oh, wait, this. Almost didn't see it down there. All right, easy. <laughs> Dense damage scaling, little max HP on my genie. What could possibly go wrong? Now we have arms. It's all coming together, guys. Getting a lot of bone shards as well, despite being on a low roll door. Oh, and this guy's gonna just melt, dude. What are these? You see that? What the fuck? Oh man, I missed. He's still taking damage. He's not supposed to in this, uh, he's supposed to be invincible there. Gotta love, love poison. Oh, I see. It's like, yeah, there's little, like, spear things. It's like little things to help bring the game to life. A lot of, uh, ambient, like, things just lying around. Let's see if we can knock him into the void. None of these characters appear to do it. Unfortunate. Oh! Yes! Yes! You're fucking done, dude. Yes! Yo! Oh? Oh? No! Oh my god, fall! Oh my god, get down there, man! You're fucking cheating, dude! Do you not realize how fucked up this is? Alright, fuck you. What the hell? Southpaw, fix it now. I worked hard to put him into there. He he belongs in the void. Like, that's... that's it's calling to him. It's his hole. He fits perfect. I'm gonna uh, upgrade my damage here. It's very important on poison runs to have high damage. It was made for him, guys. Even though it very clearly wasn't because he couldn't even fit, but still. I wanted to make a Fall of Amigara fucking reference there. First, the Junji Ito heads. Which I didn't even call it correctly what its name is. I forget what it's precisely called, but you guys Take the crumbs, okay? If you're a Junji Ito fan, take the crumbs. God, we are so powerful. What are you? Hmm... I am swapping a fuck ton. However, I'm gonna take that. <laughs> I'm taking that. That's really good, actually. I'm glad it hit me. All right, fine. Purple floor. Man, we were poor. We made no money there. I'm not shocked. It's a low roll door thing. Okay, here's a potential for like, like most of these dupes are good. This is the most boring dupe. This dupe's also kind of boring, but still quite powerful. We're gonna clear the room before I do it though. All right, just give me something interesting. Also, the syringe is pretty boring too. We had fatal sword, it'd be cool, but Oh, okay, that's a good one. Um, maybe even good enough to replace this? No, because we're not um, item damage based. In fact, I think I'll leave this on the ground. I don't think there's any reason to um, to have this. Also, just... I'm a little paranoid about my headset microphone ever, like, fucking picking up audio as well, even though I don't think it's possible for it to. I just always like to make sure when I'm recording my uh, headset's muted, and it wasn't, so 
Hopefully that hasn't been a problem the whole time. I doubt it. Um, I doubt it works the way I am scared that it might, but... Would be pretty disastrous if it was, because this run's cool. And I also don't have time to record another, so... <laughs> Man, I got a lot of skulls. Oh, okay. I don't even know what uh, could come out of this that I would like, but... We can also dodge all the damage with Genie. If that was the first attempt, I would have just take, taken it and ran, honestly. Give me money. Can't go wrong with a little dosh on hand. Yes, okay. Whatever. Genie will dodge. So far, so good. Okay, Genie would have dodged that ninja. Honestly, you should feel ashamed. Yeah, I dodged that. What of it? I just got that much dexterity. Oh my god, how often do you see this? Very rare. Oh yeah, I just got that dog in me. Okay, good job, ninja. Okay, ninja. Genie would have dodged that. Just saying. Of course, Genie gets the good stuff. You also have an iframe swap ninja, so what the hell is going on? What's so great about Genie? Yep. Not taking that damage. I don't even care if it's cheating. <laughs> I love cheating. You're nothing. Yep. Not taking that damage. Yeah, I mean, just keep throwing recruits at me. See if I care. They literally cannot hurt me even if they wanted to. Because they are pathetic. They're worms. Man, is it going to be the last one? For the love of God. Oh, come on, ninja. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I have softlocked in the... Um, I have softlocked in the... Uh, the quintessence heirloom thing. You know, like the, where you help the little child. I have soft blocked on um, on um, dead cells or prisoner runs by uh, dashing over the edge and then like he's running trying to get to the uh, position where he can start the dialogue with the NPC, but he can't reach it. So he just kept like running at the wall. And I have uh, soft blocked my game like uh, doing that before. Though it would have been as simple as resetting the room. And then I could have used my knowledge to cheat. And uh, not open any of the other chests except the ones I wanted to, which I wouldn't have remembered anyway. But. God, we are fucking insanely powerful, man. Oh, is this a max? Uh, no, 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 it's not. But it's not far off from a max um, build. Even though we built a rare and a, a unique on a low roll door run. Not mineral though, just low. Um, I don't know, man. This run kind of came together in a weird way. Here's going to be the hardest fight we have is fighting these pedestals. I think everything else is going to be a breeze. Obviously, anything can go wrong with like Dark Skull and stuff. But um, we're so powerful that I'm really not even slightly scared of uh, any of the end game gauntlet. Just insane. Contaminated core is maxed out now as well. 1261 when everything's all said and done. That's of course with um, uh, Courage 4 enhancing it as well. Yeah, we don't even have to care about John. You're a loser, John. 
Get out of my face and never talk to me again. No one likes you at school. Uh, this is pretty good, actually. Do I have room for it? Not really. Everything's building towards something important. Crit rate would be nice, but it's just not necessary. All the other stats are pretty good, too, though. The thing that's most on the chopping block is this. But that's arms, too. So, this is... I would lose so much damage percent. Yeah, we just can't. We're already poisoning more than enough. We don't have to worry about our poison consistency. Shorthand was a good call because we didn't see anything good. We are not going to be far from a max shrine here. Two off. So we're missing 30 bone shards for max. But that does not matter because, I mean, look at my max HP. We have reassembly intact. We're in good shape, man. This is a very solid poison run. You can't go wrong. We also have 10k for this shop. I don't even know what to do with all this money. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this money. I guess juggle this Quint. Or just take the Quint, I guess. <laughs> Balrog's here, guys. He's going to do so much. He's so good. Dude, Balrog's here. Our savior. What's this? Mutant? All right. Um, never saw a Stone of Plague, but that's fine. Uh, here's my kit. It's... Pretty freaking good, honestly. Textbook poison power. With a little extra oomph, of course, thanks to the uh, approaching death. God, I love ninja platforming. I mean, look at us. We're unstoppable. We really are. Dark Hero's gonna die, like, very quickly. Basically, the only way I lose this is if I fuck up so profoundly that, like, it's kind of unimaginable in my current position what could even go wrong here. And that's only to say against uh, the uh, hero. Obviously, Dark Skull's a bit of a different story, but even then, I kind of struggle to think of a way that this could go wrong. Oh, whoops. Because keep in mind, when we enhance our poison, the poison plus, the tick rate of, um, of, like, the weakness exposure and the poison ticks goes up so fucking much. God, dude. It really is just insane. Let's see how this goes. Like, as powerful as this run already is, it can only go up. This is why I'm always talking about how good poison actually is. Which, these days, I don't have to kind of hit as hard as I used to. Thankfully, people seem to understand now. It wasn't always like this. Go into the fucking roar. See if I care. Oh, look how fucking wide these fucking slashes are, dude. He's desperate. Fucking owned by the power of swapping. Boom. I don't know what I was trying to do there. I'm trying to be cute. All right. Um, can't wait to get poison enhanced and show 
just how fucking insanely strong this can get. Probably never going to push the Balrog. I might push him for the windscreen, though. And yeah, I'm saying for the windscreen, because I'm going to win. I don't think there's a chance I'm losing here, though. Yo, crazier things have happened. I should keep my ego in check, but it's looking good. If I accidentally misclick courage here or something. Anyway, uh, just so y'all know what's up. Uh, basically, whenever you upgrade poison, it just makes the tick rate further decrease. And um, poison plus even further increases that. It's a very simple inscription, but it's very powerful. Here comes the uh, the showcase of just how strong this shit is. Because <laughs> normally, you know, I'm kind of preaching to the choir, but there's a lot of new people here. So it's worth really emphasizing how strong this shit is. Not that I wouldn't be doing it anyway. Already into the ult. I'm always talking about how Poison is the most consistent and powerful offensive status. And I kind of was called... Like, I kind of started questioning that a little bit. Um, I didn't mean to even push that for the record. But, um, look at the fucking damage tick rate, dude. He's just constantly taking, like, 70s. And he's gone. <laughs> Like, I was kind of questioning a little bit because, like, Arson is very consistent and powerful now. Um, sadly, Bleed still is Bleed, but, um... Like, I don't know, man. It really is just, like, so easy to build powerful poison runs. Oh! Oh, what? You're in a fucking hurry today, dude. Why the hell is he ulting? Like, genuinely, I feel like it's too early. That's fine, though, because now we can guarantee uh, that we go into the... We, we're not like, instantly going into the ult, which gives me more time to kill him so we don't have to see the Giga ult. We're definitely killing him before he goes into the giggle without even a shred of doubt. Yeah. Like, way to make it easy on me, Bozo. Um, I genuinely don't even know what to take here, honestly. Probably the rib of horror. Though, you know what? It's it's probably still Tibia. We are moving a fuck ton. Um, it's only status effect damage by 35, but that is amplification. For, um, maybe poison damage is critical with this. Actually, it is. Okay, you know what? Yeah, it's Tibia. It's the devs' fault for making Tibia so absurdly powerful. Because <laughs> Rib of Horror wouldn't be bad here, but, like, it's up against the fucking Tibia. Which is going to make poison crit, which is amplification. And uh, on top of that, our fucking weakness exposure will be critting as well. As well as the Olive Tree Cudgel. Like, it's it's just too much. I can't ignore it. So if you thought we were powerful before, just wait. No pillars. Thanks, brother. Oh, you fucking coward, bitch. Oh, now you summon the pillars. Too little, too late, bitch. Absolutely destroyed. Undeniably, unquestionably, he's destroyed. He's in shambles. Whatever that was is not even scary to me, loser. I think that's him sending me into his invincibility phase or whatever. Look at all those crits.
Yeah, you're not getting to do anything. I'm just gonna stun you anytime you want to do something that's like beneficial for you, sir. It's very spiteful like that. You know what? I don't even care that uh, I killed that before. I lowered this thing's health to a sufficient amount. Because now you didn't get to do the uh, didn't get to do the the rift, which probably hurt his feelings. And that's how spiteful I am. His unhappiness is my happiness. Listen to that beautiful fucking orchestra of poison ticks. Yep, I'm thinking we win. I'm even playing like a complete doofus. Like, I've taken a lot of damage here with glass body, which is especially impressive. But, um, I don't have to care because <laughs> the run's too good. I love runs where I don't have to care, especially after a stream. I can just cruise on through. You ain't getting me. I got iframes. See ya. Thanks for the orb. It's not going to make it. He's too far. Oh. Uh, I think I accidentally fucked up the windscreen there. Oh, no, that's a good one. That's fine. Uh, it's about what I wanted it to be. GG's. Um, didn't use the Balrog in the windscreen. I should have. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty much start to finish banger. Very powerful. Um, typical textbook poison stuff. Because um, poison, like I've been saying, is very consistent and easy to build with. Uh, cause there's also, if you hear any yelling in the background, I apologize. Um, it's extremely easy to build with because, um, okay. Yeah. Um, just <laughs> house is popping off. Uh, but it'd be nice if they didn't pop off right next to my room. Um, but yeah, um, very consistent and powerful, easy to build with. Um, cause like a lot of the good poison spreading items are like right in the rare category so like the th the weird thing about poison is is it's it's like the devs's intention with poison spreading at least without any items that spread it is like use your skills but like who the fuck spreads poison like that not me poison's like unplayable if you don't have a poison spread item but like thankfully poison spreads just like like i said very easy to come by it's interesting that i was like so hellbent and people have mentioned this in the past um like i spent so much time and effort building masterpiece only to keep one item but keep this in mind when it comes to masterpiece is masterpiece is simply a means to an end um you do not have to keep the inscription or even any of the items that you build it with and keeping one powerful masterpiece item is more than justifiable but you also have to keep in mind that i built masterpiece for authentic stone of plague and i didn't see it none of those other items i even cared about i only kept great sages time because it's very powerful with ninja and also it's extremely dense consistent damage scaling i was getting like 200 and something damage percent very often from this just because of how ninja works so yeah um just in case anyone said anything about that i just wanted to clear it up but yeah, very under like I don't know. I think this will play well for new players because like mixed damage, sure that's kind of hard to wrap your head around. But just seeing like a bunch of powerful items scaling poison with like weakness exposure and all that shit, I, I think this will just click with people. So I think people, if they see this, will immediately understand why poison is powerful. So if you were questioning it before, hopefully this is your wake up call. It's great. It would have even been good without the approaching death, but the approaching death certainly helps. So. Yeah, that's really all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it for you, even though I'm tired and I'm going to go chill the fuck out. Uh, <laughs> I got uh, two days off after this, and I'm very happy. So, yep, that's all. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all, and I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.